When women commit crimes against other women, and I mean violent crimes, I'm talking about a physical violent crimes against other women, I've never been able to understand it. I cannot wrap my head around the fact that beings who are supposed to be nurturing, who are supposed to be protective of others, are the ones who are actually are doing this to another female. And I always find that the crimes, the, um, the physical violence committed by women, whether against other women or against um, anybody, is always so vicious. It's almost like they resent being who they are or they resent what they're doing. Uh, I'm probably just, you know, I'm just probably faffy, but I just can't get over, I just can't get my, my head around it. Today, I'm going to talk about the lessons that I learned from or the lessons that we can see from the Awarabi School for Girls. This is a limited ed, limited series, that's what it is, it's a limited series on Netflix, and it's really very interesting. If you have not watched it and you're planning to, um, it's all over the place and everyone, uh, everyone is talking about it. Um, this, I'm going to say spoiler alert because I don't know if I'm going to give anything away. I really don't want to, but you know what it's about. It's about bullying. <clears throat> Welcome to Coffee with Timmy. The Awarabi School for Girls is um, set in, in an Islamic country, okay? But a bit, uh, not very strict, but still um, Islamic laws go by. So it's a school for Uli girls and it's, uh, it's an Islamic school. This is about bullying. Right from the get-go, you hear it, you read it there, you see it from the beginning, it's about bullying. But what I found that there are so many lessons to learn from this because what happened with um, these girls, and it's all girls, what happened with these girls, and I, I just thought it could be avoided. Well, some of them could have been avoided. And I'm just going to take it one at a time. So the, main, the two main thing, again, I'm not giving this away because it's right there at the beginning. Um, the two, the two, the three girls, who are bullies in the school, okay? One is from a very rich family and uh, spoiled. She's the only girl of the family. So she's spoiled and gets her own way. And her father is a benefactor to the school. Okay, so that's, I've just given you the background and she's got a partner and she's got a disciple. <laughs> so someone got bullied and when it all came out, this is where my number one lesson is. Moms, we need to give our children the benefit of doubt. Even if at home your child is, um, is troublesome at home, you know, but when they go out, we need to be there. We need to be supportive of our children. The, the, the whole thing that went through to the, to the sixth um, episode, I think it was just six episodes, some, so many could have been avoided if only when they bullying situation came out there was belief if only the child that had been bullied got support so many things will have been averted if only um you, you uh, a, a, a child who is a spoiled brat is disciplined so many things could have been averted we need to find um we need, we need for our children to be able to come to us and tell us this is what is going on. And we need to, like my pastor would say, especially in public, we need to stand by our children, no matter what it is, you know. This is my child. I'm going to fight for my child. And we need to stick to it. We need to let our children know that whatever might be happening, we have your back. We have your back. Huh? We have your back. But this, um, this did not happen to this um, young lady. She didn't have, her mother didn't have a back. Her, her best friend did not have a back. And she felt this is all the support that I, I have. And if they're not there for me, what am I going to do? I mean, this girl was not just bullied in school. She was badly hurt. And when things came, she was so hurt that she had to be taken away in ambulance, in an ambulance. And when things came to an head, the person that actually, um, okay, spoiler alert here. The person that viewed the the, the 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 incident didn't stand up for her. So she felt very lonely. And then, she, you know, in the whole school, she was by herself because everybody feared this other girl, the bully. Everybody feared her. That is one lesson. 
we must stand by our children. And if you're a friend, you should stand by your friend. You should know what kind of friend you have and stand by your friend. If your friend is the bully, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, don't stand by that one. That's not what I'm saying. If your friend is the bully, no ways. Don't stand by that. What else did I learn here? When the person that has been accused of, of being bullied then becomes, uh, sorry, when the person that has been bullied then becomes accused of being the bully, that is a problem. In India, in the, re in the recent weeks, I think it was just last week, a lady killed herself. She, she sprinkled um, petrol on herself and she burnt herself in, uh, in front of a government office. Why? Because she's been raped. She had been raped and she had accused and she had um, laid a, um, a charge against the person that raped her. And then it was turned around by the brother of the person who is a government official to say, no, actually, this girl made up um, lies and um, is forgery and that. And the next thing, she is being attacked. She is the victim that then is being attacked. So she decided I, uh, all she could do for herself to save herself or maybe to just so that she is not guilty. All she could think of to do was to end her own life. So she sprinkled petrol on herself, aborted herself. She died in hospital. And this, uh, th this, this is a very troubling thing as well, because when I think about it, that you push to that point, you push to that edge where you're like, there's nothing else I can do. I'm just going to, I'm just going to take my own life. And then maybe people will believe me. And there are cases, this is an adult, uh, this is a young lady doing this. And there are cases of children as young as seven, 13, 10, five, who have killed themselves because they were being bullied, either physically in school or cyberbullying. When your child comes home, and I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, okay, don't let me say this because I don't want, people, I don't want um, parents who are already grieving to think they could have done, um, what could they have done? They're already blaming themselves on what could they have done? And I don't know how, we just need God to give us the guidance or, uh, you know, to discern what is going on with our children. Because when your child comes home and they're unhappy, you don't really think it is that bad. You know, we've had this bullying case here in South Africa this year. Well, that girl also killed herself. But when children are seven, younger seven, I'm putting the link there, kill, kills himself, shoots himself. I mean, that means I want it to be final. Shoots himself because he's been bullied. I, I sometimes wonder to myself, who are the parents of these children? Can you not know that your child is a bully? Is it really, really possible for you not to know that your child is mean to other children? Huh? Is it possible? Anyway, going back to my story. So she had been abused. Um, she had been molested. And then this brat of a girl turns it around in public and it becomes out like the, the girl being bullied is the one that was the bully and she didn't get any help she didn't she was betrayed by everybody by her friend by her best friend by everybody that was there even those who did not see what happened they supported this other girl because they were so scared of her and to make matters worse her mother felt ashamed her mother felt embarrassed enough to pick, uh, to grab this child and drag her out, believing what everybody else had said about her child. I will say, stand up and fight for your child, right there and then. How do we, how do we support our children? Because in doing that, it led it again to a series of things that could have been averted. It led again to even more. Um, disastrous things that could have been averted. Now, these two girls, let's go to, back to my our Arabi school for girls. You need to know that this was not, this is not your usual um, teenage, um, what we got teenage teen, you know, teenage um, soap or teenage program like we will have in an America, American TV or British TV even. No, this as, as possible as they could, they they showed what was necessary, the violence that was necessary, and without it being gory, without swear words flying left, right, and right. So if you're used to American TV, mm, you might think this is slow, but I'm telling you, all six, all six um, episodes 
you need to watch it with your children. You need to watch it with your girls. You need to watch it with your with your boys. And why am I saying that? Because sometimes kids think the popular and you know teenage years. Everybody wants to be with the popular children. Everybody wants to be popular, and then everybody wants to be the be the ones that are popular. And someone else got affected by this as well. She also wanted to be one of the popular ones, but she really wasn't one of them. You know, you always have that person that is tagging along. She really was one of them, and also she got um, she got affected by the fallout from this. To be fair, she 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 deserved it. To be fair, she deserved it. But I would say she was trying to please the main the main bully, right? She was trying to please the main bully. But she also got affected by this. So the fallout kept going, you know, it just kept going on and on. And um, that can happen to us as well. If your child, if you know your child is friend with someone who shouldn't, who they shouldn't be friends with, you are the parent, you know, you are the parent. Just put your foot down and say, no. I remember um, some big, um, I call them my big sisters. And I remember one saying no to a daughter who was in secondary school at that time wanted to go for a play date somewhere and they were, she, so she said how many of you are going where else is going to be there and there was a particular child who was going to be there and she said no because of that child and everybody else knew who she was talking about so i said why are you not going to let her go just because of one child i mean it's a group and she said that child's mother not even the child that child's mother is not the kind of person she wants to mix with and because of that she doesn't want her own child to mix with <laughs> to mix with that with that girl do you understand what i'm saying when you are when you're there what your kids are going to do are different when you're not oh you have no idea where they get up to you just pray you've given them the right foundation and you believe that they will do what is right and and so this girl didn't get to go all because of someone's mother's conduct but like i said you are the parent you need to put your foot down this other person doesn't live in your house. This other person didn't give birth to your child and they're not coming home to you. If there's a problem, you're going to have to deal with it at the end of the day, right? So this girl, the, the third girl, who I would call the disciple, did not follow what her parents had taught her. She tried, she tried to be popular. She tried to be accepted um, within the popular group. And then she tried at the same time to be, to be, uh, what was that? To be, um, to be faithful to what our parents, the way our parents had brought her up. You can't, you know, you just tear yourself apart. And this probably um, is also for us adults as well. You just, you, it's just not possible for you to, to be everybody, to please everybody. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. So, in the end, what happened? The bully became a bully. The bullied became a bully. And it was bad. It was bad. So I'm not going to say more because I don't want it to be, I don't want to, I really don't want to spoil it for those who have not watched it. It was bad. It was really bad. That circle now, uh, I, I, I don't know if I'll say it's complete, but the person that was, that was, a, that was being bullied now becomes the bully. And she went all out to do harm to these or to these girls she didn't stop even when it became obvious that she was um it was getting out of hand she 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 had um she had she had what's the word now she she had sat down or she had um, put the resentment and the hate and everything in her and all the all the contrary feelings that 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 she had got from being bullied being betrayed in school, at home, she had brought all of it together and she's been holding on to it and then she lashed out. That's it, she lashed out. And these kids, these bullies did not stop at just that because, like I said, the fallout was, it was really a mess. They even, even the way they spoke about some, about a particular, about some teachers, not just one, that also had its own consequence because now teacher wants revenge. Huh? And in all of this, someone could have stopped it. Someone could have stopped it, but she didn't. So when the fallout came, she also was part of it. When we see, what is that thing that said that um, evil continues when good men don't speak up, something like that. 
And that's exactly what happened here. Someone could have put their foot down. When you let yourself be blackmailed by um, by your emotions or by other people, or yeah, emotional blackmail by other people, emotional blackmail by whatever, what any kind of any kind of blackmail, and you turn a blind eye to something that you know is wrong. And I like the subtle way that they showed us why this um, was allowed to happen and why that came up, which we didn't see. It was it was really nice. I like what I like what she did there. It's a, it's a female director, writer, everything. But it's um and like I said, it's a very interesting um and a very interesting series. I will ask um anyone with a teen actually with children who can understand. I will say teenager because um of the nature of the school, of the age of the of the kids in the school. But I'm sure it's something that your kids can understand. You will know your children. So it turns out that in all of us, we also have bad. As good as we are, or as good as we think we are, when we push to the wall, we have no idea what we're going to do. We have no idea. The person pushing us to the wall also doesn't have an idea of what they're going to do. They don't have an idea of what we're going to do. They don't, have how, they don't know how we're going to react because they're so used to doing it and um, the bullies are so used to doing it and the bullied keeps, you know, cowering and um, trying to save themselves. But at one point, at one point, on any, things can turn around. And when it turns around, it's not necessarily good. It's not necessarily nice. I remember, I think it was last year, this is also real for adults, who are the, the, um, a, a man who had been bullied, who was bullied when he was in school. Years, years, 10, 20 years later, goes to a school reunion, planned to go to the school reunion, just to meet his bully and kill him. Even though the bully came to apologize, to say, I've seen my wrong, I know I shouldn't have done this. I'm sorry I made your life hell in school. It was the bull, the guy who was bullied, was determined that he was going to put an end to it. So I don't think he heard the guy. I don't think he heard him when he was apologizing. I don't think so. I think all he could remember was the humiliation, was all the stuff that was said by him, that uh, said to him, the laughter, you know, everything. And he shot the guy. And he probably didn't care. Or maybe at that last moment, after he had shot the guy, where well, doesn't really bring you relief because now you're going to go to prison. <laughs> ah, I really enjoyed it. I cannot lie. It's the Awarabi School for Girls. It's on Netflix. And like I said, it's a limited series. Um, that's what it's called, I guess. Maybe because it's only six episodes or maybe because it's going to be there for a short time. I don't know. So go Netflix. No chilling, just Netflix. I'll see you. Take care. It's been Coffee with Timmy. Subscribe and notification button. Bye for now.